So uh, pure rock, pure land. I see this wild rock is only um, expression looks pretty awesome. So um, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, well it's based on uh, original illustrations from Gavin Bishop's book Wildlife Bear Tierra. So we've got six of those originals on the wall here, and they're linked together by the idea of the river running through the city. Oh, is that what the artwork is there? Exactly. So these are the original pictures that Gavin used to make his book. Wow. So we've divided them up into different habitats. So we start with the mountains in Southern Alps, running through forests, rifts and bushes, the example of that, then through wetlands, the estuary, and the sand dunes by the sea. And then we've got the open sea at the end. That's awesome. Yeah, they're really, really cool pictures, eh? They're so they're beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, they really are the hero of this exhibition. Um, and people love looking at them. And yeah. Which it's is fantastic. So cool. And so you've got a few gadgets here as well. Yeah, we do. So um, these are all things that conservationists and scientists use to understand wild, wildlife and biodiversity. Yeah. So there are simple things like a piece of onduline, which you can lead out, and lizards love to live out underneath oh, really? this, or even spiders. Yeah. Um, because it warms up nicely in the sun, gives them somewhere to live. We've got a tracking tunnel. So these are used to monitor pests. Oh, yeah. So there's an ink pad in there. Things will run through. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, that's super yeah. cool. Yeah, there's a sweet net up here which is used to catch butterflies or oh, yeah. other flying insects to monitor their populations, maybe to tag them and release them again to see how many are. Up. Up. So, so this is just hung up as an example, but you would, you would either use it to catch insects on the wing yeah. or you could sweep vegetation with it. Cool. Um, you can also use the handle of it to knock things into this. Uh, beating tray, this is called, right. so, to get things off trees. Yeah, yeah. And you might suck them up with this thing, which is called a puta. <laughs> nice. Um, I like the look of this tree over here. You tell us what, a bit about this. Yeah, so this wall is much more interactive. It's all about the different ways that people classify and divide animals up. So we've got a geographical representation down the end there. We've got more of a taxonomic, what kinds of animals they are. But yeah. I think the one in the, in the middle is one of the more interesting parts of this exhibition. So this is an opportunity for people to tell us how they feel about different animals that live in Christchurch. Yeah. So the pictures are on the little magnets, and these pictures again are taken from Gavin's book. Oh cool, so um, everything's here. Yeah. Everything's here, in fact some of them are in, on, on the other wall as well. So, and they say what they are, so there's a bit of information. Yeah. And then you might pick one of these up and think, well, how do I feel about that? Do I feel disgusted or scared? Or actually, yeah. I think I'd feel amused about that one. Uh, yeah, right there. But this so, one, I bet you get a lot of that. We probably do <laughs> get a lot of that. I'd put it there. Yeah. Oh, but there you I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Same. so it's cool. like a little snapshot of what people really think about the wildlife. It gets people to think about it. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and so, so this is interactive and how are you finding it using it? Kids? Lots of kids, yeah, which is why some of it's quite close to the ground. Um, we want people of all, all generations to come and enjoy this yeah. exhibition and there should be something for everyone here. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a very cool looking exhibition but it's nice to have that interactivity as well. It is. So on the walls we've got lots of designs that have been painted directly onto the walls by librarians and exhibition staff oh, here at the nice. library. Um, mm. So we've got some really talented artists who've been involved in this. Yeah, but cool. they're based on pictures from the book. Yeah. Um, so all of this imagery has come from Gavin's book. They do a good job in that, eh? They do. Nice. And then you've got the two little eels having little conversations going in Europe through the exhibition. Oh, I see. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it's nice. Yeah. So you lead through it. Exactly. And we have some um, soundscapes on in the background that kind of go on and off. And we have some information on the iPads. Yeah. Um, particularly about local conservation groups, so people can find out how to get involved. Oh, naturalists, so yeah. 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 yeah, so this is a thing called iNaturalist, which is a place where people to record observations or any group of them really, that was quite much quite a bit. Yeah. And those data that can then be used by scientists, so you can say, you've seen this particular thing in this place, and you can get your photographs of identified by experts. So it's yeah. lots of different uses, so it's a key part of yeah. Well, congratulations, I think it looks awesome. And um, yeah, to everyone that was involved, it's a great job. Yeah, thanks, so. It's been real, real fun, real privileged to be involved. Yeah, cool. Nice one.